Hey, hey. It's your boy CG. It's me, and y'all already know the deal. I'm back with some more heat. So before we even get started and diving this topic, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Buy my Herbalife products. We're almost at 1K. YouTube keeps taking away subscribers, so y'all need to smash the like button, continue to give me the algorithm, and send me to the friggin' moon. And buy my Herbalife products. Link in the description. So I'm coming at y'all live and direct from my car, and let's dive right into this topic. You lean, you lose. Let me repeat that. You lean, you lose. So I can tell automatically off the rip the dynamic of somebody's relationship um, by how they look in their pictures. You know what I mean? So if you see the dude leaning into the chick like this, all happy and giddy leaning into the chick like this, and I'm not saying don't smile in pictures, don't get my words twisted. But if I see a dude leaning into his chick like this and the chick standing there straight like this, it's it's over with, bro. We'll put it like that. It's tough. That's tough. It's over with. Um, and why do I say that? Is because you can tell by body language. Body language is a big indicator of how attracted a chick is to you. A body language is a big indicator of a lot of things. You know what I mean? So y'all need to know how to be cognizant, read body language, and 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 etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But anyway, you lean, you lose. Let me explain. So I follow this account on Twitter that like confirms um what I'm talking about. I forget the account name. Uh, I'll put some of the tweets up in the beginning of the video. And um, it talks about how, with the body language, how you can tell the dynamic of a relationship. Like you see Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, just to give some examples, where Will Smith is leaning into the pictures and Jada Pinkett's straight. You know what I mean? So you lean in, you lose. Because think about what happened with, uh, with Will Smith and Jada. You know what I mean? Um, you see her cheating on him. You feel me? And a lot of the relationships that I know, I'm like, all right, you know what? Maybe this is some BS. So anyway, a lot of the relationships of people I know, I pull up their gram, right? And I'd be like, me and my boys would be talking about it. Yo, maybe the chick's cheating on him. So and so we've seen her cheating on him. We look into the pictures. We look at the pictures and the dynamic of those relationships. And we see that he's leaning in more than she is. You feel me? So that tells all. Body language tells all. You feel what I'm saying? So I want y'all to go back in y'all camera rolls. Go back at pictures. Um, go back and walk, look at pictures of you with older chicks. You know what I mean? Of you with your past. I know it might be hard to look at, but you got to. And see the dynamic of the relationship. And if she was leaning into you or you were leaning into her. Because she should be leaning into you. You feel me? She should be coming into your world. She should be coming into your zone. She should be coming into your space. Rather than you leaning over into her acting like a fucking goofball. You feel what I'm saying? I know I really shouldn't be cussing because YouTube don't like that. But we're going to get to the moon regardless. You feel me? So anyway, that's just body language 101. Like when you're out, you can read if you can read people's body language, you're gonna know who wants trouble with you, who wants smoke with you, and who don't. When you're talking to a chick, eye contact. When you're talking to a chick and she has her, her toes pointed towards you, like when you're chilling, right, and her feet are pointed towards you, well, that's anybody, not even just a chick. Um, next time you're in the middle of conversation with somebody, just kind of like glance down at their toes. Don't make it weird. Um, but if someone's toes are pointed towards you, it's a sign of comfort. It means that they're comfortable with you feel what I'm saying? Um, when somebody has their chest to, uh, open towards you, it means that they're being not vulnerable, but like, you know what I mean? They're engaged in the conversation. They're engaged in, 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 um, in with you and like the conversation and the dynamic of with you, you know what I'm trying to say? So, um, it's just little things like that, that y'all need to pick up on. You feel me? So when you're talking to a chick, right? Say y'all are on a car date, chilling in the car, kind of like put your seat back and like chill back like this. You know what I mean? Just chill back, like unimpressed, lean back, be relaxed. You know what I mean? Because her, naturally, she's going to want to keep the conversation going because subconsciously when something's moving further away from us, we want to get closer to it, especially when we're talking to her. You feel me? So when you lean back in the conversation, when you're kind of chilling back, like uninterested, she's going to subconsciously get more interested in you because she's going to be like trying to move forward and trying to keep the conversation going and trying to get closer to you. You feel what I'm saying? It's just little things like that that can go a long way. So shout out to Robert Green. Shout out to that Twitter account. Ravel Know The Artist. I just remembered his name. Ravel Know The Artist. So shout out to him. Shout out to Robert Green. Shout out to 48 Laws of Power. Shout out to Artist Seduction and shout out to Laws of Human Nature. You know what I mean? It's just little things like that that can go a long way, especially with chicks. That's all I got for y'all today. Quick little video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you lean, you lose. Peace out, y'all. Salute CG signing on, man.